Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for the uh, Gravel Polytrack meeting, Wednesday, the 6th of January. Remember, please subscribe to my show. You press the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you will get all the updates. And as you know, we do uh, previews every day, and we've been having um, certainly pretty accurate. There have been some very interesting results that we pulled out, and um, things should be going well, and this should really be a help to you people out there. Remember, Interbet is the only place to bet. That's uh, because they give you the best prices with the bookmakers and the tote is on the tote. Let's kick off with this eight race program. Uh, race one is off at 12.25. It's a graduation 1100 and this race is specifically put on for Dan Dolo. Looks like absolutely set and made for him. He's been rested, he's been gelded and um, a lovely race to bring him back on. Uh, if he's any good, he should be able to absolutely win this in a canter. But the big danger is going to be Ziva Le Winter. This is no, quite a decent horse. He da can go and he can get away from them. And last time he ran on the poly, uh, time before last he ran when he won his maiden, he won by five and a half and then ran in a very strong field. I expect him to run well. Dancing Feather comes back to a sprint. Race two. Uh, maiden plate 1400 meters and you've got to be with what a rider here Donovan Dillon gets the ride that's number three um, for Dean Canama uh, looks absolutely made for this race what are the dangers Doug Campbell's runner number one bells and whistles I make a big danger and then storm chaser um, uh, two good runs this goes back to the goes on to the poly uh, the stable is in really good form uh, number 10 storm chaser Lazan Forbes and Serena Moodley's riding extremely well so that goes into the play as well. Race three, maiden plate, 1400, uh, four cornered contest. Quite a tough race. Number three looks like the, uh, number five at least, looks like the right horse. Let's go fly. Uh, another Riverland inmate, second run after arrest. I don't like that. I thought it ran pretty well, first run after arrest. Um, and Billy Jacobson gets the ride on Interesting that Veal rode it last time and he's riding Flying Vision. As a result, I put Flying Vision into everything. Gets the blinkers back on it. This could be the big springer in the race, Flying Vision with Veal on. Uh, that's number two on the card. And then the other two jockey uh, turnabouts is Patronage Ride. Serena uh, is ridden by Serena Moodley for Michael Roberts. Gets the blinkers and the pacifiers. But he rode Silver Cent Celebrity as last twice. And he's now off it. And that's drawn 11 out of 11. Carl Stratum gets to ride that. Um, that's the problem is the draw. So the jockey changes are very interesting to look at, especially now these guys have gone to uh, settle in Cape Town and Johannesburg and we've got the sort of local colony. It's interesting to see what they pick. Race four, maiden plate, Phillies and Mezzo go 2,000 meters. Uh, I like eight rock flight. Uh, the only problem is second run after rest. Sean Veal gets to ride the Gavin Fitzgerald inmate. Got form, should be able to win. Second run doesn't get it. If it does get it, there's two horses that can beat him. And that is six pack catalyst, uh, Philly. Um, she's uh, trained by Tony Rivlin. She's certainly better on the poly and ignore her last start. And she's by Silvana. She'll get every yard of this distance, so she should. And then Magicos. Well, the trouble is um, 2,000 meters. Yeah. Anyway, Magicos, uh, Lazan Forbes, Serena, Serena Moodley gets the blinkers. Have a very close look at this one as well. Race five, Merry Rated 89, 1900. If ever I've seen a field race, this at yeah, the, the one horse that doesn't seem to have any chances, Smart Socks, but many of the others have got chances of. I, my first choice was Pollard. He's 16 to 1. Um, and uh, I, th I think he's very good on the course and distance. A lot to like about him. He gets Veal, who knows him well. And he's got to be a huge runner in this race. If you go back four runs and have a look at his run uh, behind uh, Christopher Robin, that was a cracking good run. Uh, born to perform, goes a trip for the first time. Gentleman's Wage has got extremely good form. Monarchy, uh, second run, looks like he'll improve on his last run. And he's got a very good form on the poly. Galway, uh, the Duke of Marmalade, certainly comes into the race with a chance. And then you can't leave out uh, run to Denmark. Uh, Techno Captain, you know, the, it's that type of race. Clouds a witness, if he gets back to his best, he could give them a galloping lesson. I'm going to put the whole lot in, in all my exotics. Race six, uh, Mary rated 72, 1400 meters. Number six, Living Waters, uh, looks like the right horse here. Did win well, uh, sorry, seven, Here Comes the Rain is my top choice. Won a maiden extremely well, 
um, and didn't run well on the poly, but uh, I'm not sure that I'm, I, I'd like to forgive him that. I think he's better than that. Here comes the rain. He gets Serena Moodley, who was a good maiden winner. But the right horse is Bedazzled Joker. I mean, he's won his last two pretty well. He hasn't gone much in, up in the merit rating. Um, he uh, does get a jockey change. Aries gets on him, and he's not as good as uh, Lyle Hewson. There's no doubt of that about that. What else is in there in the race? Nine, Bedazzled Joker. I make a top choice. Four running, uh, three, Lord Wiley's got a chance. Four running freely. Gets the blinkers. Have a close look at him. And one higher purpose. This might be the springer in the race. Ten to one. Put him in for all your play. Race seven. Merry rated 88, 1400 meters. Two cornered contest. Marsan, I fancy strongly. I liked her when she won. And uh, she's back on the poly again. And I think that she's the right horse. But... Take a close look at Comp Knight, who's runner number eight, Vian's Pie. Very hard to follow the stable. Uh, their horses pop up at the oddest times. Uh, we did find the other one, the one I won on Sunday, uh, because he was so well in at the weights and um, the Toreador. And I expect this horse, Vian's Pie, to run really well. I think it needed his last run and it's very good on the poly. So it won its maiden by five and a half lengths on the poly. Race eight. Um, Mary Red 72, 1200 meters. Well, your guess is good as mine. But I find a couple of horses that I do like here. I think that um, you might find very good um, uh, value in number seven, Dallas. Gets a two and a half claimer, third run, looks like an improver, um, has shown better form on the poly, and I expect it to go well here, Dallas. Then there's um, uh, Leslie's part to fame, comes back off a rest. He's at five off a rest, and he's never won, so. You, you can't really fancy a six-year-old off a rest, but if he is right, he'd be very, very hard to beat. Night Warrior, good form. On a high note, gets a four-kilogram four claimer. That might improve quite a lot. One has made an extremely well on the poly. Um, Roy's Magic won well last time. Manu Pace might have needed his last start. Tough, tough race. From me, James Goodman. And uh, the whole Interbet team, uh, have a great day's racing at Gravel. And remember... Get on to Interbet, you can go and play the games, and you can subscribe to my show by just pressing the red subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow, have a good one.